Who is Boo? Boo is a 13-year-old science geek who has no social skills whatsoever. He's in junior high school just outside Illinois. It's called the Helen Keller Junior High. It's the high school that I, the junior high I went to. And uh, he doesn't have a friend in the world. He lives in his own little imaginary world almost mm -hmm. um, of science. And uh, suddenly he finds himself in an afterlife. He wakes up and he's, he's died. He thinks he's died of a holy heart a hole in his heart and he finds out later that he was shot and uh, he tries to track down his killer in heaven. I grew up as an atheist and uh, but I lived for a while in Salt Lake City where everyone was very religious and I had no idea what heaven meant. I, I was able to create heaven out of my own uh, imagination. For me heaven would be a place where there'd be so many people that it would have to be segregated somehow. So in the novel, this heaven is only with 13-year-olds, Americans. And uh, the people live, uh, well, I live in the States and there were a lot of public housing projects. And I thought that would be a perfect place to put people because uh, there would be a lot of room for them. And uh, I had to decide on the food they ate and how they got around heaven. And I would ask the Mormons these questions, like are there bicycles in heaven or or do they eat meat in heaven? Meat is a dead animal, so how could it be a dead animal be in heaven? And they didn't have any answers to the questions and thought I was even odder than they originally thought I was. So um, that was really this, the launching pad for my, my thoughts on heaven as a kid. And it was around the time I was 13 and was most uh, inspired by fiction. Uh, I had no friends, so books were my friends. Every writer is a god in a way. We're creating these worlds. And uh, with Boo, because it has a fantasy element, I got to decide everything, what they ate, how they lived, uh, uh, how they got around town, uh, how old they would live to. When I was growing up and reading fiction as a 13-year-old, those parallel universes that I would fall into seemed to me much more real than my actual life in uh, Chicago. I could read a book and close the covers and still be absorbed by that world. And it's a quality that, you, that I had, particularly when I was 13. And as I've gotten older, that, that ability has waned somewhat. And by writing, I'm, I'm recapturing that, that ability of following to, falling into an imaginary world. When I was a teenager, my brother died and my sister uh, tried to kill herself. So I started thinking a lot about what would come after. And even though I didn't really believe in a heaven, I liked to imagine what it could be. When someone dies close to you, the person lives on in your memory. I would have dreams about my brother and uh, he seemed to be living in a parallel universe in my dreams. And fiction, again, was a type of parallel universe. And writing fiction is falling into a parallel universe. So for me, Religion is fictional anyway, and, and I love the world of fiction, so they all tied in together without my having to believe in an afterlife.